What's happening, everybody? Yours truly here, Xavier Smith. And uh, today in this video, I'm going to be reintroducing myself. I'm thinking of that song from Jay-Z. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is... <laughs> so um, if you are wondering why I'm looking to the side, it's just because I have my notes printed out on my other screen. And so to make sure that this train flows as smoothly as possible, that's what I'm looking at when I'm looking off camera. Uh, so in today's video, I wanted to reintroduce myself because I'm all about making new friends and in this creator economy, I'm doing my best to learn and adapt to the things, solutions that are available to us. And I'm listening to a few people that I'm really liking on YouTube and they are saying now is the perfect time to get on YouTube. Although I've had my channel for years, I want to dive deeper into the relationship side of it. And so here I am. That's why I titled this My Journey Overcoming Life's Challenges to Help You Thrive. So that's what we're going to be talking about. Uh, so I have an outline here. And so let's talk about the purpose of this video if I haven't already done so. Um, it's a reintroduction. I get to, in this video, explain to you who I am, what I'm all about, what I'm trying to do here, what I'm doing my best. I hate using that word try because that is a non-committal word justifying failure and mediocrity. So I do my best not to use that word, although I just did, so I'm correcting myself. We're going to get into a background story. We're going to get into my, my mission, what to expect from this channel, and then we're going to close. Does that sound good to you? Say yes. Hercules, Hercules. Uh, so that's what it's all about today. Um, so with that being said, let's get into the backstory. Would you believe that you're looking at someone who was hit by a drunk driver as a sophomore in high school? That accident left me in the hospital for about two weeks where I, when I came to, I had a blood clot uh, the size of another head. I think my grandparents were the first people there. And my mom, I think my dad came, but uh, I had a big blood clot on the side of my head. And if you, if I can press my fingers here, I can still feel the little indentation where that, you know, scar is or was but yeah i had a blood clot there broken collarbone i got this nice little keloid and it's a silk here would you believe the doctor thought it looks it looks more pronounced in person but the doctor thought i didn't need stitches thought it would heal up on its own and it did but just healed looking like that so that happened uh, like i said a sophomore in high school drunk driver going 50 miles an hour in a residential zone. That's what they say. I was actually showing off for a female that had moved in next door. I was on my moped. I call it a motorcycle because the tank was right there on the top. It looked like a motorcycle. And uh, so I drive, going to park into my grandparents' driveway. Uh, the guy hit me, didn't have a helmet on, and I ended up uh, crossing the street and in front of my neighbor's house and it was ugly, but I'm still here. So there's that um, part of the backstory. The other, I, 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 I like to say that my life is now driven by three incidents and that was one of them. The other incident happened years later, I was in the Air Force and on leave visiting my younger brother Playing, uh, we were playing basketball uh, at, at ASU, and I had a heart attack at 29 years old. So that happened. Now, as a result of that, I have a stint. My arteries were clogged by 50% with cholesterol. And that's what really got me starting to think differently about how did I cause this? Because I knew it was me. I just didn't know how I did it. But it was my poor eating habits that kind of led to me making poor decisions and then my body is just continuously trying to catch up with my bad choices. I mean, me and my brother and I, uh, I think I was probably the worst. I was more of the sweets guy, uh, but we would polish off a box of donuts each 
you know, and then go to basketball practice and kind of, you know, play it off. And so I thought I could eat anything I wanted and I was invincible until I found out I wasn't. So there's that. That happened, 29 years old, got me to do some soul searching. I eventually got into uh, school for nutrition because I always wanted to learn a little bit more as to how the body does what it does um, and learn how I my arteries were clogged by 50% with cholesterol. I did learn that I had uh, hypertension in my bloodline. And so we started, I started trying to figure things out on, as to how I could correct that. Got my certification through the Institute of Integrative Nutrition. And I've been trying to, there's that word again. I've been doing my best to help other people with their nutrition, their battles, their struggles, because I'm helping people avoid some of the pitfalls that I've already experienced in my life. Okay, so that was incident number two. Uh, incident number three, later on, uh, I think it was early as my first incident, I think it was 2016, I had a pulmonary embolism, a saddle pulmonary embolism. For those of you in the know, you know that a saddle is where the blood clot covers both your lungs. And man, that was ugly. Really, like, I, when, I, when I say that I'm happy to be alive, I mean that because I'm really not supposed to be here. You're talking about heart attack survivor, hit and run drunk driving survivor, three pulmonary embolisms in my life experience, and I'm still here. So long story short, the reason I believe that I'm still here is because my mission is to continue to help other people, whether it's sharing my story through speaking, um, through personal training, through counseling and uh, consultation on fitness, nutrition, life coaching, because I went on to get certified as a life coach through Tony Robbins um, training. I have over 150 contact hours in that space. So I like to think that I know a little bit about the human connection and what people need. And so what I do my best in doing is listening to people meeting them where they are so I can help them with what I know and with what I've experienced in my life and kind of help them to the next level at their pace. So that's kind of what that's all about. The reason I'm putting this video together is because I'm trying to do, I am doing my best to meet people where they are. But in this creator economy, you know, you it's really hard to tell who needs help. So this is where I am doing my part to reach out to you so you can reach out to me and then we can meet and see if we are a good fit for each other. That makes sense? Say yes. <laughs> Hercules, Hercules, if you said yes. So I like to ask questions. I'm curious by nature. Uh, you should also know that I'm a grandfather of 12. Could you believe that? Yes, I married into that. And her kids were all grown. And my daughter has three and she completes the three of the 12 grandkids that we have together. So it's like a Brady Bunch of love. <laughs> so that's kind of what this is all about. Let me just look at my notes. Number three, I was supposed to talk about my mission. And I think I was, that's self-explanatory. I want to help on my Facebook profile, which I will link to if you are interested in discovering more about me through my social media channels, uh, is to, it's a Zig Ziglar model. I want to help enough other people get what they want out of life so I can always have what I want out of life. Because everything that I want to do is contingent upon me helping someone else get what they want, if that makes sense. That's part of my values. Uh, speaking of which, uh, let's see, you might be interested in what I like to do for hobbies. I'm, since I'm big into, you probably already know, I started this company called Fitness Dungeon Athletics. It's, a, it's like a Excellent Solutions is the parent company. And then Fitness Dungeon, so Fitness Dungeon Athletics is a part of that. I've been doing this out of my home since 2007. Absolutely love it. When people come to me, ask for my help, I give it to them. Some people have stayed with me like 
five plus years. Some come and go, but no matter what, I do enjoy the process, the journey. And that's what I'm all about. So that's about it. I wanted to give myself about 10 minutes to try to give you as much information as possible so you can either be attracted to it or repelled by it. So let me know where you stand. Uh, do you like pure positive energy? Because that's what my channel is all about. Pure positive energy and solutions. The company, like I said, the company name is called Excellent Solutions for a reason. Now, mostly I've been talking about the fitness, the nutrition, life skills, and things of that nature. But I also like helping people out in the business world. So I do talk a lot about um, solutions like software that helps people, makes their lives a little bit easier. Uh, I use a lot of software. I'm big into studying AI and uh, all that it can do to make life easier for one person or many people. So you'll often find me talking a lot about that. So in closing, I'm all about solutions. I'm all about po pure positive energy. Someone once called me the purveyor of pure positive energy. And I like I liked it so much, I told her I'm gonna stick with it. So there you have it. So drop a comment. Love to know where you're from, uh, what kind of help you need, if you need any. Do you like this video? Do you like pure positive energy? Do you like being uplifted? Because that's what I'm all about. So I would love to get to know you if you would like to know more about me. And uh, if not, then the train just keeps on moving. <laughs> so that's all about, that's about all I have that I can think of today. In future videos, I would love to talk more about what you are concerned about. Like, so let me know, drop, a comment in your in the description or in the comment section and let me know where, what you would like to hear from me next time. I think I said that right uh, because I'd like to know a lot of my content is contingent upon what you are looking for so there's that uh, so looking at my notes I uh, just want to make sure I'm doing everything final thoughts in with a positive message yeah so um, I'm just happy to be alive and I mean that when I say that and the best part of my day today is talking to you guys. An even better part is when you engage and let me know what you think of this video. So I would love for you, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, hit that thumbs up, hit the subscription, and hit that little bell so you're notified every time I come out with content. And right now I don't have a permanent schedule. I just, you know, I wanna see how this resonates with you and then go from there. Uh, but I will drop some links to where you can find me. I will drop some links to some of the tools that I've been talking about that I maybe forgot in the video portion. You will see it below in the description. And then I will sit and wait on you to take action and drop your comments because I like to read every one of them, especially uh, because I'm trying to grow my empire on the YouTube space. So let's grow together. Show me who you are and let me know what I can do for you to serve you because uh, that's what I'm all about. We have 13 minutes, guys. I think that's about all the time I have and you've seen enough of this ugly mug. So it's time for me to go. Before I do, let me give you a proper sign off and remember I'm dating myself here, but I'm so glad we've had this time together. What show did that come from? My name is Xavier Smith, AKA Coach X, and I'll see you next time. Bye.